we're going to get rid of all your doubts and worries because in today's video i'm going to answer your yes or no question this video was requested by one of my lovely subscribers oh my god they were so so nice so thank you so much i know you're watching i really appreciate you i want you guys to pick one group based on the symbols that you're going to see here in a second but first of all focus on your question keep it in your mind while looking at the symbols and whichever you feel the most drawn to that is going to be the one representing your reading feel free to pause right now and you can find all the timestamps in the description box let's get right into group one hi group one so let's see you i'm gonna be shuffling the cards with you live kind of it's not live but no, live for me. How are you guys? Hope you've been doing well. Okay, let's see. So group one, is it a yes, is it a no? And then we're going to dive into more details with the oracle cards and later on the advice for you regarding this yes or no. If the answer is gonna be like very negative, I don't want you to click out immediately because I feel like people tend to do that and you know, I'm guilty of that myself too. <laughs> Sometimes when I pull myself some tarot cards or watch some other tarot readers and I get the negative answer, I'm like, mm. so uh, I want you to listen because there might be an advice for you what to do with this information. Okay, tarot doesn't lie. And let's see, group one, is it a yes or no for group one? What do we have for group one? The question, is it a yes, is it a no? Okay. Oh, conflicting, conflicting cards. Interesting. Oh, okay. All right. So that's, that's the situation that I was talking about, ooh, about at the beginning, you know, in the intro of this pile, when I'm like, if it's a no, don't click out because <laughs> it seems like a no, but I'll tell you why. It's because you deserve so much better and there's something bigger, better coming your way very soon with the Ace of Swords. That's a yes card, but this would be a no and I'll tell you why. Because we, the first card that I pulled for you is Nine of Cups Reverse. So this is a card of which is coming true, your desires, what you want, you know, making that wish, basically having that hmm, desire in your heart, I want this with this card being in reversed it tells me you're not going to get what you want at the moment so let's say if you want a certain person you're probably not going to like get this person because there's so one someone so much better coming your way very very soon um and i'm telling you that because i also pulled the ten of pentacles immediately and i told you oh my god you know conflicting thoughts conflicting not thoughts but conflicting cards um because we have a no but then we have like really big success and we have this long-term vision and goal maybe not goal in this case but long-term vision and success i'm just gonna call it a success because it's a very wealthy abundant card then we also pulled the justice in reverse that's why i said uh, you're not gonna get it because you deserve so much better nine of swords I feel like you're really, really stressing out um, or stressing over this, whatever it is, whatever you asked about, you are constantly thinking about it and calculating it and analyzing and being strategic with it and wanting things to work out. And I feel like, you know, what's not meant for you, it's just not meant for you, but it also means that there is something that will fit you, your lifestyle, what you do, who you are as a person so much better. So if you're asking about some boy, <laughs> about some girl or about some relationship, this person is not good for you, the universe knows that and they're like, nope. If you're asking about about a certain job or whatever, whatever it is that you guys are asking about, you deserve so much better and you are going to get something so much better very very soon with the ace of swords at the as the back of the deck energy this is representing a new idea clarity new things coming your way more communication better communication someone that is more honest with you someone that is more straightforward with you 
um you know what sorry about the hair that i'm like constantly like touching it you know when you have a day when the hair is not hairing and it's today and it's just annoying the heck out of me just saying okay um going back to your reading yeah so guys don't worry because i know that you are probably not very happy with this being a no like I mean, obviously, maybe you asked a question and no answer is good for you. But I feel like there's something so, so, so much better coming your way. And you're going to be so much happier with it because it's going to bring you more stability. It's going to be it's going to bring you more abundance um, and in a long, long term way. I feel like you're going to be so much more satisfied with what you're going to get rather than what you are kind of like hoping for at the moment okay so i hope that uh, makes sense let's pull some let's pull some extra oracle cards for you guys let's see group one what okay month of the year december okay so if you're watching it when i uploaded it it's on in october um I feel like there is a big change coming in December. I feel like this new opportunity or this new person or this something new. Oh my God, another card right after the Ace of Swords was Ace of Cups. So that is representing new love as well. Um, new love and, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be also self-love, but also it could be like something that you're in love with career-wise or um, in life in general, like some sort of project or hobby or something that you are going to be very aligned with and very attached to, and you're going to have a lot of feelings for it, positive feelings. Uh, we have these two cards upright. It's coming in December. That's a confirmation for you. Um, I feel like right now you're ending some sort of chapter with the, with the world card. And yeah, you're holding on so tightly, but you're not supposed to hold on to this group one i'll pull some extra cards so yeah december is when the shift happens is when mm, the major like realization and change happens yeah we have dragon beware of self-delusion so i feel like you're just extremely focused on whatever you asked about today um that you are not seeing that it's actually not so good for you or that you can do so much better maybe it's actually about you needing to change your uh beliefs about what you're worthy of and what you are actually capable of new job career also and i feel like it's around december and if you guys are watching this like after december hmm, since october october we're at the beginning of october october november and december so i feel like it's going to if you're watching this like later on i feel like your desire or not desire but this new opportunity is going to come within the next two to three months two to three that's what i'm getting for you hidden secrets can harm you so this card is just showing us that you're not aware of everything right now that is happening like you're not seeing it fully it's hidden um you're going to learn about it more you're going to understand it more soon and then you're going to realize that the question that you asked today maybe should have been asked in a different way or just the fact that I, there's a different path for you and it's going to be better for you and you will know once you're going to step onto this path that I, you know maybe if you're asking about if i'm going to be successful at something and i'm telling you no <laughs> you know that sounds horrible however that might also mean that you just have to change your course a little bit um it doesn't mean that i know this is a complete failure it just means that some more information something is going to come in within the next two to three months and you will realize that oh i should have been doing it this way and if i do it this way then this will bring me closer to like the desired reality you have to be more open to different like paths and ways um you can't be hyper focused on like one thing okay like be open like be be focused on your goals but be open to opportunities because right now it feels like you're you don't want to be open to opportunities because you want that one thing <laughs> okay 
yeah, reaching your destination, you will reach your destination. It might be through different paths. It's going to be a different way of approaching it and getting to it, but you will eventually get to your destined destined destination. Uh, yeah, into your destined reality goal. Okay, follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. Do things that feel right to you. Follow your heart. I feel like that's a message for you. Okay, group one, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Follow my Instagram. I upload there daily. Daily, yes. The link in, is in the description box. Thanks guys for coming. Let me know in the comments if you want. Um, what else you would like me to pull the cards for? And yeah, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do that. The link is in the description box. Okay, I'm talking way too much. Okay, bye. Okay, group two. So let's get into your reading. Still keep that question in your mind while I'm going to be shuffling the cards, okay? And as I was telling group one, if it's going to be a negative answer for you, I know it's going to be annoying and people tend to like want to skip <laughs> um, and not watch the rest of the video. I get it because I'm guilty of that myself. However, I do want to encourage you to stay and listen to the messages because I'm going to try to give you the best advice I can based on the tarot cards uh, on, on your situation and on what to do next regarding it. Okay, so let's see. So tarot cards, oracle cards, advice cards, let's see. So group two, is it a yes or no for group number two? Mm -hmm. Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. This is really interesting. So very similar actually to group one so if you guys were drawn to both groups i'm sorry my hair is just annoying me today if you're very drawn were really drawn to two groups it makes sense and maybe it would be good for you to go back and also watch group one because it feels a little bit connected and i'm saying that because the card that i pulled is nine of cups reversed however it's the second card not the first card and the other cards are positive and that's the only negative card um that i pulled from from this deck so is it a yes or a no i feel like it's a bit complicated for you i think it's you're going to actually get something a little bit different it's not exactly what you want so you asked obviously about like you had this one specific thing in your mind and i feel like it's going to be very similar to this but it's not that it's not literally that so if you asked if you're going to get that certain job i feel like you might for example it's just an example to give you an idea of what i mean you might for example not get the job at, at this exact um like position mm, it's not going to be that um uh, sore for it a few moments later let's say it's not going to be in that department however this company will want you to work for them but like in a different department for example does that make sense? Because I feel like it's a yes. However, there is a little bit of no here. So it's mm, it's like you're not getting exactly what you asked for, but what you will get is coming very quick. Like things are already set in motion for you with the eight of wands. That is literally what this card means for me. Um, things are moving already. You already did everything that you were meant to do. Things are being like... I, I see people like talking about you or discussing you or someone is like thinking about reaching out to you. I don't know what you guys asked about, but things are in motion. And I want you to know that there's not much that you have to do. Of course, you maybe can do something, but it's not like you have to take big steps towards something because it's already set in motion. Uh, it's already happening. Like it's already manifesting. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. So if you ask about a job, you are going to get job. You are going to get the raise. Um, this is also a card, uh, a card of stability and like long-term commitment. So if you ask about love, this is coming as well and it's happening. Like it's literally happening. That's the, that's what the spirit is saying. But we also pulled as the first card, the Seven of Wands. So this is about um, standing 
like defending your place, defending your territory, defending what you believe in. So yes, there's not like a lot that you have to do right now, but you will have to like still stand up for it or like show up, you know? Like you don't, you can't just like sit down now and be like, hmm, it's gonna come any minute. There's nothing else to do. I feel like you just still have to show up. That's what I'm getting. You still have to be there or you still have to speak up or you still have to show that you care. Like, something about that, but it's working out for you. So God, this is a very hard yes or no. So I feel like essentially it's not, uh, <laughs> eventually, essentially it's a no for you. However, it's not a disappointing no. I don't know why. It's, it's like something else is coming it's already there and it's so much better it's better it's more like it, it fits you more it fits you more and it fits your circumstances and your situation more and you're going to be more happy with this yes like it's literally coming knight of swords new opportunity new opportunity things also working out a little bit differently you're going a different direction uh, because the knight of swords is one of the knights that is Mm, more how would I call it mm, rebellious yeah I feel like rebellious would be the good words to use here he's more rebellious and he kind of goes against the wind and he's not doing things the way that other people are doing them um I'm also seeing some debates that's interesting and I'm seeing you winning and I'm seeing you being in a really good position I also got three of cups which is a card of friendship uh friendship and celebration so I feel like maybe one of your friends will help you out with something or will give their good words you know uh on you about you help someone like realize something your friend or one of your friends is yeah is playing like a big role in this. Um, okay, I called it a big role. Maybe it's not big, but it's playing <laughs> a significant, there you go, a significant role in this situation unfolding. Queen of Cups, I see you being content with this, whatever is coming your way. So even though the one card is showing us a no, it's still a yes because maybe it's not like exactly what you wanted, but it feels like you didn't even know that this, whatever is coming, is an option. <laughs> That's why you didn't ask about it. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna come over, you know, it's going, this, this is the opportunity is going to show itself and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know this is possible. <laughs> so yeah, it feels good. It feels very positive. Okay, let's pull some cards for you, some oracle cards to get clarification about this what do we have money or pro property through an inheritance winning or windfall okay so some money is coming your way from unexpected sources what else mm -hmm. we have you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals so that might be your current situation, what you are currently going through. I feel like this is going to change very, very soon for you. We have someone new is entering your life, chair filled. And also staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So that's like a confirmation for you that things are going to be fine. Things are working out for you. The universe is doing this for you, not to you. Okay, let's see some final messages. Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. See, like things are changing on a big level for you and you might not be like seeing it, yeah, and realizing the potential and realizing that it's possible, but it is. And things are already in motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miracles. Expect the wonders to emerge. With miracles, it's again confirming that it's not something that you expect. And it's going to be positive since it's a miracle, right? Right? Okay. 
So that's what I got for you, group two. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, okay? It helps me out. And yeah, follow, subscribe to uh, my channel so you are not going to miss the next video. And I upload on Instagram daily. So if you would like to follow me there, I would love to have you there. Let's connect. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading, uh, it's available, all the details in the description box. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Group number three. Let's go. Keep that question in your mind. And I'm going to say the same things that I was saying to the two previous groups. You know, if the answer is going to be very negative, I don't want you to click away immediately. Um, and just go and watch another pick a card, hoping it's going to be a different answer. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing because I'm guilty of that myself, but I'm trying to encourage you to stay uh, even if the answer is not going to be what you want. I mean, I don't know if it will be or not, but if it's not going to be, stay until the end because I will be pulling also some oracle cards and I will try to give you um, the most information I can about this and guide you um, and help you to figure out like what to do next and what to do regarding this, you know, this answer that you're going to get from me, from the cards. So let's see is if, <laughs> if it's a yes or if it's a no. Group three. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Is it yes, is it no? Ooh, ooh, damn. This is the first group that is very clear. Yes, very clear. You guys got three out of four cards. You got three major arcana cards. So the tarot is divided. If you don't know, tarot is divided into minor and major arcana. Um, major arcana are the major events in life. Important things, important stuff, important lessons. You guys got three cards. You got the moon, you got the hermit, and you got the chariot. And from the minor arcana, we have the knight of pentacles, which is a very nice card to get as well. So yes or no? Yes. It's a yes. It's very clear yes for you. The chariot is about progress and moving forward and being determined and having the, um, the ambition having the ambition and the drive to keep on going. Uh, the hermit would be about doing the inner work and finding your soul's purpose, what you want to do in life, where you want to be, who you want to connect with, like really figuring stuff out for yourself. Um, and the fact that you already did sit with yourself and you did the inner work. And um, I feel like you have more clarity on what you want in your life and I see that whatever you asked about yeah it's a yes because you've been doing the work uh, with the knight of pentacles it's just it's just showing us that it might take a while before you get there to your desired destination however if you're going to stay um, diligent if you're going to stay like responsible with it, if you're going to take action on it, if you're not going to give up on it, if you're going to put the work, it will be a success because you're already on the right path. The moon though, the moon is about uncertainty and a little bit of like, maybe not fear. Actually it is fear, but it's fear of the unknown. It's because things are in the dark, like at night, we can't see everything. So right now you are like, is this going to work out or not? It will, but like you just need more clarity, right? Like you have to get the confirmation, you have to get the guidance, like you have to get the, yes, it will work out, just keep on going. This is your sign. <laughs> this is your sign that yes, it will. And even if you don't have all the details yet you don't know exactly maybe what to do step by step you are going to learn along your path along your way like you don't have to have everything figure out right now and know everything don't be perfectionist because you already are good at whatever you are doing or whatever you're asking about like you're already good and you're going to learn and become better with time you don't have to have everything figured out and things are going to get lighter and you will see more right with time i think that's what it is 
So uh, I'm gonna pull more cards for you to see what else we have. But now I kind of want to encourage you to uh, follow my Instagram because I follow I follow because I upload there daily and yeah I do a lot of guided you know readings there. So make sure to follow me there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will put it somewhere here. My nickname on Instagram. So let's see what else we have for group three. Yes or no? Yes or no? We already know it's a yes. Yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. Like, you are not, you're, you're just not certain if it will work out. So you are very like doubtful about it. And this doubt is keeping you away from taking action, taking like more action or like you have to have that clarity on your goal. You have to have the vision. You have to remind yourself every day of what you want and why you want it. And then you can like, then this can allow you to take the right action each day to get closer to it. So I see again that there's a little bit, a little bit of this fog in your mind and you just need a clarity. You just need a not clarity, you need a confirmation that it will work out. It will. You see with the eight of pentacles, this is about putting a lot of effort and time and energy into building something, into doing something, into honing your craft. Um, yeah, and it, it does take a lot of time. And, you know, it's, I feel like it, you have to sacrifice a lot um, in order to become the master at it or in order to achieve that goal um yeah there needs to be some sacrifices and you've been sacrificing already and i feel like that's why you're like where is it why is it not working is it working i don't know what i'm doing yeah I, that's how i feel uh, and i get it i get it you have to believe that it will work out because it will <laughs> like it will because you are already putting so much work into this and you are already like you already learned a lot. You already did a lot. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. So the spirit is uh, extra messages. The spirit is trying to mm -hmm, uh, warn you to be aware of self delusion, but also be aware of. Mm, toxic habits that you used to have be careful not to follow the devil be careful to not step back into things that you know are not good for you you know maybe bringing some people into your life your exes etc friends that were not um supportive like they should bringing them back allowing them back into your life like there's a reason why you took a step towards something else. Like you shouldn't go back into these toxic people or behaviors from the past just because it's easier or just because it gives you like a quick dopamine, dopamine hit or um, instant gratification. It's not going to be working for you well long term and you know it so the spirit is just here to remind you that there's a reason why you took a step back there's a reason why you changed the course um just keep on going that way and don't fall into these like easy way outs hope this makes sense okay so let's pull some oracle cards for you group three okay yeah, talking about that, you know, the devil might be a person because we have feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So, you know, do a check. Do a check up in your friend group and your love life. You probably know what I mean here and who this person might be. Um, yeah, this person can't be trusted. Okay. Oh. Major challenge to overcome. So that is what is going on right now. This, that is what you are going through right now. It's a challenge and you will overcome it. You have to keep on going. 
we have March. So if you guys are watching this at the time when yeah, I uploaded around this time, it's October. It's which one is it? Wait, tenth? Is it? No, sixth. <laughs> sixth, I think, of October. March. So that's in uh, four months. Something major is going to happen in March for you. Or if you are watching this after March and you're like, girl, what? <laughs> Maybe it already happened. Or this means that it's going to come within the next four months. Because now it's October, so March, right? Am I counting right? Not even. Wait. October, November, December, January, February. Okay, more like four or five months, okay? Or six. <laughs> yeah, I can calculate. But yeah, March or within the next six months or five, six months. Um, okay, final card for you. Let's see. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Another card confirming that you're going the right way. You might not be seeing the results and getting the rewards just yet. You're not seeing that manifesting in your life, but it's really working. It's like when you plant a seed and you're waiting for it to grow, you can't like dig it out and see if it's actually, you know, growing or not. You have to wait for it to like pop up, right, <laughs> from the soil. And then you can see that it is growing, that it is healthy. So um, you are right now in the stage of like not seeing it, but it is working. Okay, I feel like that's all. I feel like that's all that I can tell you right now, group three. Let me know how this resonated with you. If you want to, feel free Feel free to leave me some recommendations for the next pick of cards. Uh, again, I upload daily on Instagram, tarot readings, uh, and you can book a personal reading with me if you would like that. The link is in the description box. I would love to read the cards for you. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. Have a great rest of the day. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Feel free to watch one of these videos next, whichever you feel drawn to. Okay, I'll see you guys. Take care, bye.